now is a good time actually to start meditating if if you have extra time wouldn't this be a nice time and the other thing about troubled times is that uh, it makes some people begin to search for answers not everyone but some people it sobers them up see because on your on your regular day you you know you go to Starbucks you talk to your friends you text you work out it you work out or you uh, you you get involved with this and that and this and that and that and this and and it totally gets you totally and in, so involved in it that you don't have time to 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 smell the roses then when you see when you when you suddenly you you can't go to your Starbucks or you can't go to your exercise studio or whatever you wean yourself from those things you're weaned from them and you begin to sober up see they were like drugs they had you drugged drugged so now you sober up and you do have a little bit of distance and you say why am I here What's the meaning of my existence? What's the purpose in life? See? Very, very important. So it's a nice time to be thoughtful and to stand back a little bit. And the meditation helps you to stand back. Those questions are answered. God answers those questions, not with a voice, but with a light. Not a voice, but a light. You, you begin to just see. You see things. And as you see, you begin to realize that there are some areas of your life that aren't so good. You begin to look at your own self and see how resentful you are and angry and so on. You begin to stand back from all of that. And if, you're, if you persist in this course, meditating every morning and wishing to know the purpose of your existence, wanting to know the truth, if you persist, then the things that aren't so good will begin to fall away they just give you up sometimes a bad habit like smoking or something and just one day you're just not interested in it anymore you don't try to stop you just don't it gives you up and if you persist persevere to the end and there's the prize but some people see it's a wake up this you know like this COVID-19 it's a wake up call some people wake up and they begin to sober up they're weaned from their pizza and their you know frappuccino and they're weaned from all of their texting and their gossiping and sports and all these things that have been too important weaned from it and then they sober up but then hopefully when things get better again, they will remain sober. And what's the best way to remain sober? To do the little meditation every morning. It represents a commitment to wanting to know the truth. But you know, like some people, like they have a heart attack or something. It's a big wake up call and you see them clean up their act. It's amazing. A short time after their heart attack, well, they, they you see them they lost a lot of weight they they stopped smoking they're eating better they they just look so much better but then you know what as time goes by they begin falling back into see but they never got to the root cause anyway you have to persist to get to the root cause you think your problems are out there in the world somewhere you know it's this person or that person or you lack this or like that but that's not it the problem it has to do with uh, your character and with a with wrong belief wrong believing lies and doubting the truth 
the lies always come with words and feelings. Words. Even in your mind, a voice. You think it's you. Where does that voice come from? But God shines a light upon things. It's wordless. Watch for that wordless guidance. God leading you. Leading you to the promised land. You've been a slave. You've been a slave to a lot of things. You need, you need to be set free from a lot of things. These hypnotic cultural crutches that have you uh, in comfort zone, that have had you um, seduced and put to sleep. You know, they're so reassuring. Oh, don't worry, everything's fine. What about this fine print? Oh, it, it's nothing, it's just standard. No, oh, what about this thing and that thing? Oh, no, everything's fine. They're just so reassuring, aren't they? They all are the experts. And the ones that lord it over you, they're always reassuring. Oh, no, they point the finger at you. Uh, if you don't do this and if you don't do that, why? But but if you do what they say, then, oh, yes, yes. It's so They make it so reassuring with their words and their presence. See? And you sin when you, when you take comfort in their presence and in their words. Better to stand back. Better to give them a blast of truth than have them pull the rug out from under you and expose. See, that's what they'll do. If you expose them, then they expose you. Good, you're exposed. Then your illusions and delusions, you know, the false image that you put up to people. It just falls flat. Good. Just become a regular person. A regular, simple person. And do your little meditation and then see what God can make of you. <laughs>